Let's start with um, the fraction built on what Let's start here. Or would you prefer to start with the um the fraction? You know, I have to put it in like a graphic organizer to kind of fraction. Because I'll do both of them, but let's go with the fraction first. Okay. And if at any point you like this comment, so I'm completely alone. I don't know what you're talking about. And I will be. Y'all, do y'all prefer when I um, when I stack when I go vertical with the fraction, or would you prefer when I go vertical? Do you like vertical? Y'all, this is this is better look. But yeah. Yes. Okay. So here at start here, so I'm looking at my denominators, I'm looking at the nine and the three. And y'all always go step by step and then um so if you don't want to do all you wanna do your nines. Okay, so you know exactly where I'm getting the least common denominator from. Okay, so I'm just writing it down. Okay, I'm looking at the denominator, I'm looking at the three, so I'm thinking about my Three times table. So I notice that they have a nine in common. So I'm going to place it here. Next, I need some help filling in the blank. So you can think of it like this three times one will give me nine, or three goes into nine how many times? Okay, so three goes into nine. All right, or well, three times three in your mind is nine. Take the same times three to your numerator to the top. So two times three is six. I need some help filling in the blank here. So I'm thinking of my nine. So nine times what would you mean nine? Or nine would have to nine. All right, so that's one. So five times one is five. So I already had the whole. Number three, and I have whole number five coming. I'm going to leave my denominator nine alone. And I want to add up my numerator. All right, so I'm going to add five plus six to give me 11. Three plus five gives me eight. So I have eight and 11 over nine. But the only problem is 11 over nine is a what? It's an improper fraction. Okay, so I want to. Divide that out. So, of course, you know your numerator always goes in, your denominator always goes out. If you don't have the gift the calculator, like I never have a calculator when I'm at the grocery store when I need one. Never, I never have it on me. Never. Nine goes into 11 once. One times nine is nine. 11 minus nine is two. Does anybody agree? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, if this is equivalent to one and two over nine, correct? Yes. If I have eight whole already, I want to add the one whole to it. That gives me nine and two ninths. Does that make sense? Let me go over that one more time. Sure. So here I have four and I have five. I'm looking at the denominators. So in my mind, I'm thinking about my four times table. And I always write them just so you'll know exactly where um, each step is coming from. Because sometimes I need, I need to see it sometimes. Um, but this doesn't necessarily mean you have to write it every time. You know. 
the same thing for five. I'm looking for my least common denominator. Or number that they have in common. Everybody agree? Mm -hmm. I have that 20 in common. Okay, so that's my least common denominator. Next, we're looking at the two denominators. So I'm thinking in my mind, five times what would give me 20? All right, so that's times four. So we take that same times four to the top. Two times four is eight. I'm gonna do the same thing here. So I have four times what will give me 20, or four goes into 20 how many times? So it's times five, does everybody agree? Mm -hmm. Take that same times five to the top one times five mm -hmm. is five. Five and 13 are 20. All right, good. All right, so my denominator 